In this video, I'm going to show you how to utilize the Destiny Item Manager Loadout Optimizer to quickly and easily create and import builds for your Destiny 2 characters. Whether you're a new or returning player looking for inspiration, or a seasoned veteran looking to enhance your current build process. I'll also share some tips at the end on how this method can help save you some precious vault space. I've been using DIMM's optimizer tool for years, and with some recent quality of life improvements, I was inspired to make an updated guide. If you're new to Destiny Item Manager, it's essentially a third-party application that hits Destiny 2's API and allows you to access and manage your inventory from your web browser. This makes moving items between your vault and characters or even creating builds much easier. If you haven't yet linked your Bungie account with DIM, you can head over to their website and do that now. For this guide, I'll be setting up one of my favorite Warlock builds, Strand Necrotic Grip. Let's get started. From the inventory screen, click on the Loadouts tab and then the Loadout Optimizer. Make sure the right character is selected at the top if you have multiple characters. If you're logged onto your character in Destiny, they should already be selected. If not, click the refresh button in the top right corner and that should fix the problem. Here, you can see the total number of gear combinations available for this character based on all the gear you currently own. This tool calculates all possible combinations of gear you own across your vault, mailbox, and inventory. Now as we define our requirements, the number of combinations will drop dramatically until we have only a few options left. Let's make sure a few important settings are selected, as well as choose our exotic, subclass, and any mods we'll want to use for the build. I'll begin by moving down the left side of the screen and explain what to do for each section. We'll skip the stats panel for now and come back to it later. For Assume Masterwork, make sure to select All. Unless you're new to Destiny, you want the tool to assume that every gear piece in consideration will be masterworked when calculating the most optimal loadout. This will include the plus two to each stat you get when a gear piece is masterworked. Next, you need to choose which exotic you'll be using for this build. You can do this by clicking this button here. In this example, I'll be selecting the Necrotic Grip. If you have multiple copies of your exotic, they will all be considered during calculation. For the mod section, you'll need to select every gear mod you want for this build. To do this, you'll click the plus button here. This will open a selection panel where you can go through each armor slot and choose which mods you want to use. Go ahead and select your mods now. Once finished, press the Select Mods button at the bottom left. Also, make sure you turn on Automatically Add Stat Mods. This will allow DIM to automatically apply the most optimized stat mods based on the remaining energy available for each gear piece. This is a new feature that was recently added which makes this whole process much easier. DIM will also automatically select the best Artifice Armor mods for you if that applies to your build. Furthermore, you can force DIM to include certain gear pieces with the pin item feature at the bottom. This could be handy if, for example, you have a favorite piece of artifice armor that you want included no matter what. Additionally, you can exclude items here. Now you'll need to fill out your subclass, including aspects and fragments. Since some fragments alter stats, these need to be selected before the tool can correctly optimize our loadouts. Choose your subclass here, and then click the Customize Subclass button. As you can see, this is a similar selection panel to Mods, where you can choose your subclass elements. Once you're finished, click the Apply button at the bottom left. Now that we've got everything set up, You'll need to determine the two to three most important stats for your build. We'll call these your primary stats. Next, you'll need to tell DIM to prioritize them by checking their box in the stats panel, and then rank them from most important to least important. For my Warlock build, Resilience and Discipline are the most important, so they'll be moved to the top, followed by Recovery. 
by the way, any stats you don't want included, leave unchecked. So that dim will completely ignore them when calculating your loadout options. Let's refer to these as your secondary stats. Their order in the stat panel also determines their order above each loadout combination. So you can still optionally prioritize secondary stats just for visual clarity. The numbers you see below each primary stat are called tiers. Selecting a tier for each primary stat tells DIM the minimum amount you require of that stat for your build. These tiers can also be seen in game. Each tier is equivalent to 10 stat points. So selecting tier 10 means you are requiring 100 points in that stat. For example, if you know that you want 100 resilience, then you should select tier 10. Now, no matter what, you'll only see build combinations with at least 100 stats in resilience. The tool is also smart enough to stay as close to the minimum as possible to maintain each tier and avoid wasting stats. Let's finish the Warlock build. Since I want 100 points in resilience, I'll choose tier 10. Next, it looks like I can also reach 100 points in discipline, so I'll choose tier 10 here as well. Now, the most I can get for recovery is tier 7, so I'll select that. You can see that after nearly 2 million combinations at the start of the video, I now only have 4 options left. From here, you'll need to consider a few things. 1. Primary tiers versus total tiers, or primary plus secondary tiers. Just because secondary stats are less important doesn't mean we should completely ignore them. It's best to try to maximize them at this stage. 2. Do any of these options require masterworking a gear slot where another option already has a masterworked piece? 3. Do I have any gear pieces that I want to pin, such as a piece of masterworked artifice armor? 4. How could prioritizing a fourth primary stat affect things? 5. Are any of the options wasting stats by having one or more half tiers? At this point, it will usually require a bit of analysis to determine the most optimal final build. Always go with the path of least resistance and avoid wasting resources, since, as you know, Ascendant Shards ain't cheap. Since option 2 and 4 require a helmet that is not masterworked, I'll skip those. Then, option 3 has only 34 total tiers, compared to option 1's 35 total tiers due to option 3 wasting stats by having two half tiers. This means option 1 is the winner. Once you've determined which loadout to use, click the equip button in DIM. This will automatically equip the loadout to your character in game whether they're currently logged in or not. Sometimes there can be errors shown in red. The most common reason in my experience is that a piece of gear hasn't been upgraded in game like DIM expects it to be. Once you go and do that, Make sure to refresh the page and try to equip again. Now before saving this loadout in game, you can optionally go to the customization menu and edit your character's appearance. Once everything is how you want it, click on the loadouts tab in the character screen and save that build as a loadout in game. Keep in mind that you can also view and equip save loadouts within DIM by going to the inventory screen, clicking on your character, and then selecting the loadout. You've just created and saved a fully optimized build in game using the DIM loadout optimizer. The more you do this, the easier it gets. Now, it's time to go test it out. For those of you still here, I wanna thank you greatly for giving this video a watch. If this guide was helpful to you in any way, please give it a like and leave a comment letting me know how it helped or what I can do in the future to improve. I said at the beginning of the video that this method could help clear some precious vault space. If you're like me, you save a lot of highly statted legendary gear and duplicate exotics in your vault. Once you set up a handful of builds using this method, you'll notice a lot of the same masterworked pieces being used in other builds. This will make it easier to determine which pieces of gear you can safely delete. After I started using DIM to set up my builds, I was actually able to clear over 100 spaces in my vault by getting rid of gear I thought was better than it actually was. I'm excited to grow this channel and looking forward to creating more Destiny content, 
so make sure to subscribe if you're interested in following along. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.